please like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to share. All right, welcome to Skene TV on YouTube once again. Mohamed Salesu has had an interview with BBC, so I'm going to leave the full interview for you to listen. And um, he spoke about his recent dip in form. He said that it is because of the Ramadan that he's having. That is why it has affected his performance. He also assessed himself for the season and he also spoke ahead of the Crystal Palace game. As of the time this video is being made, the match is yet to be played and um, he spoke about it and a whole lot of stuff over there. So before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed, please take a second, look at that subscribe button below the hit on it, put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel. So let's enjoy the full interview of Mohamed Salisu with Adam Blackmore on BBC. Let's begin. You're a young player, Sally. You've had yeah. a long season. It's not easy yeah. in the is how how is your body at this time of, of the season, you know, eight months into an English Premier League campaign? Because really this is your first full season and you're a big, strong, athletic, fast centre back. Have you found it physically demanding to, to do do a Premier League season? Yeah, yeah, I think um um, good, yeah. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, like the way you said, um, it's very long season, and um, you always have to, you know, focus and work hard, you know. And yeah, it's a bit, you know, tiring, you know. Like I said, it's Premier League. You always have to work hard, you know. And then you have to you recover, you know. Well, after training, you you have to get a recovery, like to to for the next day, you know, for 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 the match day, you you need to be fresh, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Just on your own season, and you know, I obviously watch every game and commentate on your matches. So I've watched all your matches. Um, you know, you were getting lots of people raving about you in the first half of the season. Your form was terrific. And then you had a little difficult spell, Sally, where you got injured. You come back and you've had a couple of moments on the pitch, which you will learn from. And you've been on the bench a couple of games. And you, we, I think we forget you still only just 23, um, you know, last week. So how do you deal with things when they go wrong yourself who do you get your support from yeah yeah i try you know to to work out you know of myself you know when something is wrong yeah uh, like you said i i was having a good season and then something went wrong yeah it's true like um you know in, in ramadan it's not easy you know playing in ramadan you know it's not easy but i'm still working hard and you know um focus um, on, on on you know to 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 play you know and help the team you know to give my best and help the team how do you who do you turn to sally who do you have when when you have a day where you need to talk to someone or you need some support we all need support sometimes who who do you who do you have around you who will give you that boost who will make you feel better or do you do that all yourself with your own mentality yeah for me for for me i i, I always you know um, um lift myself because i know um you know um, you, you when when something is wrong you have to you doesn't have to give up you have to lift yourself you know to 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 come back uh, to your best you know so i always try to work hard you know in training ground and to come back stronger and put things the way it is you know yeah now the man who works on the radio with me who's a former southampton manager he was also a very good center half when he was younger very good center back yeah. and when anybody talks about you he always says, I don't worry about mistakes. I don't worry about things going wrong. Mohamed has all the skills to be a top, top centre-back. He's got everything. So he will. things will happen when you're young and you have to learn from them, he said. But he doesn't worry about you as a, as a top player. So, you know, nice that people, professionals, have that belief in you. But as you yeah. just said, nice that you have that belief in yourself all the time. Yeah, yeah. For for me, um, I don't, I don't, um, you know, worry about myself too much. I worry about you know the the people around me. You know, when I did mistake, maybe they they feel bad. But for me, I think you know it's part of the game. You know, I need to lift myself up. You know, and do it right. 
Excellent. Now, look, we've just got a few games left, and these next two against Crystal Palace and Brentford, two sides next to you in the table, um, I think that gives the matches a nice competitive feeling because really these two games you should be targeting shouldn't you as a team um, yeah um, it's going to be tough you know uh, like you said Crystal Palace when we play um, there um, away uh, it was a tough one and um, I think we, we have to expect a tough match this um, Saturday as well And um, but you know we have to prepare, you know, um, and, and stay focused. I think um, we're gonna we're gonna get uh, got three points here. And, and you know what? It was great the way you came back from two 0 down on Sunday, and I think that gives you some good momentum to take into that Crystal Palace match. You'd have been as pleased as anyone, of course, uh, after the own goal, which was not your fault. But to come yeah. back from two 0 down, that's a really good uh, sign, isn't it? For me, I think the game was going good, and then when you consider should go like this, you have to um, stay positive and then uh, stay in your plan and, and work hard, you know, because it's 90 minutes, and then when you consider go early minutes, you see you don't have to give up. You still have to work hard and then um, fight back for the results. Yeah. Please like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to share.